So I felt like I was carrying my cross and Celie's cross and that was heavy for me. Championing not only the behind the scenes production, but also everything that everybody needed. But I was never home. How is that I ain't got no money, but I'm always working. To put it plainly, Oprah Winfrey's year at work will probably be challenging due to the accusations made by Fantasia and other cast members of The Color Purple. Oprah has come under fire from the film's cast, who alleged that she was mistreated in a number of ways while the film was being made. Though she usually steers clear of controversy, Fantasia has addressed the difficulties and hinted that there were significant challenges throughout production. Oprah is not a good sister to black actresses, despite her pretenses. Tara G. and Danielle Brooks have also blasted Oprah, claiming that she made them walk to the site every day in uncomfortable conditions without the necessary safety gear. They further assert that everyone had to utilize the same trailer. We were doing rehearsal and they put us all in the same space. Like we didn't have our- These facts are troubling especially considering the movie's enormous $100 million budget. The group asks how the funds were distributed because they seemed to be having trouble while filming. Recall that Taraji mentioned we had cars to rent. I convinced myself that I would never be able to drive to Atlanta. Insurance terms refer to this as liability. It's risky. They are robbing people at the moment. In the past, Tara G.P. Henson has praised Oprah and then criticized her for supposedly underpaying the actors. Tara G. revealed that the rudeness of the first offer almost made her give up on the project. After being silent for a while, Tara G. has suddenly intensified her criticism and joined the others in criticizing Oprah for alleged mistreatment. The group has acknowledged that they worry about each other's health and wariness, but they have also promised to help one another in the pursuit of justice. We're not the only two in this. We're up here because the whole squad is behind us. Given the state of events today, we need to look into how Oprah, as a producer, allowed this kind of harassment of African-American women on the set. It appears that all black artists are impacted by this skewed narrative and things worsen for women. Despite their best attempts to bargain, Trench storytellers are all too aware that their pay is rarely equitable. One person with a close connection to the story disclosed this. Instead, you are paid what is equivalent to what a black creative makes, which is substantially less for black women. In a New York Times interview, Tara G. personally disclosed shocking details about the working conditions on the set of The Color Purple. In addition to highlighting the challenges the actresses encountered, the content reveals significant issues with managing and treating performers only on the basis of race. And all of this is taking place on the set of a well-funded picture directed by a black producer. We don't do this alone. The no. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes. us. Now that Tara G has made her bold claim, Oprah is in serious trouble. And it seems like other cast members are getting involved too. Tara G realized that when she first brought these issues to people's attention, she would have to defend certain fundamental liberties. Things like that shouldn't be something I have to struggle to get through my past traumas. I was pushing for bug-free trailers on the Empire set. Fans were furious and upset with Oprah for allowing these issues to persist on a project that she had claimed meant a great deal to her when they discovered about the struggles the group was having. You guessed it, Oprah has no opinion. Fans criticized her lack of professionalism on social media, turning the media mogul into a war zone. Thrive. Ah, yes. And where we're all thriving because of it. I mean, I yeah. think from the very beginning. In a podcast conversation, comedian Cat Williams shared her thoughts on the subject with Shannon Sharpie. Williams expressed sadness for having to hear Tara Jean's account of mistreatment on the set and emphasized how difficult it is to be the greatest in your field and still have to settle for small pay. Everyone seems to be aware of the unfortunate tale of how many talented actors, particularly actresses, were once subjected to such heinous torture. The fact that these persons who are treating them like dirt are, in fact, their own brothers and sisters oh. we should be ashamed. is what is most terrible. We should be shamed. This more comprehensive perspective highlights the obstacles that the color purple cast faces, concerns with wider societal implications, and the need to address systemic issues that affect a range of professions. It's feasible that a prominent figure like Oprah will encourage advancements in this field. 
The supporters only want to witness that. Oprah expressed that she is quite embarrassed over this in a comment. She is a piranha with the rest of them. On the other hand, someone else said, this whole thing is absurd. Oprah and her associates ought to feel ashamed of themselves. Now that they have been revealed and made public, many of the people who have suffered in silence are at last starting to speak up. Since many people were still required to work in such harsh conditions, the industry did not benefit from the decision to keep quiet for a long time. However, since the color purple cast began speaking, more disturbing information regarding the movie's making has come to light. Oh, we gotta fix this. <laughs> and she says, say less. In an interview for Color Purple, Tara G, Oprah, and Danielle Brooks discussed their personal experiences. Danielle said something shocking about the initial weeks of getting ready. Remarkably, none of the female cast members, Tara G, Fantasia, Haley, and Danielle, had their own trailers at this point. Instead, they had no privacy at all since they were compelled to share a single trailer. I remember that we all trained in the same room when we initially came, and she mentioned that we didn't have private dressing rooms. This contempt for the actresses become even more evident when it was revealed that they had been refused food or water during their arduous 12 to 15 hour shifts. It was reported that in order to get through the lengthy workdays, they had to bring their own food from home. What I say, Acting is like dog years. Okay. Oprah was obviously offended by Danielle's comments, and she quickly refuted her understanding of the cast's hardships. And she did her customary self-cleansing. It was implied that she was ignorant of the struggles the actors were facing when she stated in the interview that she wasn't in charge of the film's budget. Rose is in charge of the funds, so even if I find out about anything that someone needs, I can't pick. That's how the studio system works. Some perceive this as an attempt to place the blame elsewhere or act as though nothing is wrong until the issues are found. But as soon as Turgi found out about the issues, she exposed Oprah's dishonesty by emphasizing her own involvement. There was a problem, there was a problem with the cars, or there was a problem with the food. I would step in and... In the midst of this outrageously dramatic purple romance, Oprah is dealing with another problem. The cast's unexpected remarks surprised a lot of people, and what shocked them even more was that the entire film crew had to voice their worries before anything was done. Fantasia purportedly overheard the backstage conversation, confirming the allegations made by Danielle and Tara G that they were forced to live in a small trailer without food. The claims that Fantasia is privately endorsing Oprah for her behavior, despite her private support for her, lend even more dimension to the situation. When Fantasia was chosen to play Celie in the Broadway production of Purple in 2007, her first encounter with Oprah, they met. Fantasia purports to be afraid of being blacklisted and facing other unfavorable outcomes if she publicly calls Oprah her enemy, as she did with Monique. Fantasia, despite her reserve in public, is rumored to be fully behind the scenes supporting Tara G and Danielle in their allegations of Oprah's alleged role in the assault. They saw the gift, but they saw opportunity to make money off the gift. Many are left wondering why there didn't seem to be enough money to provide the performers with the lodgings they required, especially considering the film's enormous $100 million budget. It seems, nonetheless, that this amount was not enough to pay for the meals hosted by the famous ladies. Oprah made an attempt to defend herself by saying, Whenever I heard there was an issue or problem, such as a problem with the cars or their food, I would step in and do whatever I could to make it right. Critics are appalled and furious, questioning if Oprah was genuinely unaware of the cast's struggles or if she was merely attempting to cut expenses and assume the actors would be understanding. So from that was one thing, trailers were another thing, food was another thing. It's clear now that Oprah doesn't prioritize the well-being of her team and only steps in when problems arise and her reputation is damaged. Oprah's part in the controversy around the color purple has been thoroughly examined and thoughts on the media tycoon are widely shared on social media. Someone claims that Oprah believes that power and control are at play in this circumstance. She has continuously demonstrated her true self. I find it strange that Oprah used to complain about the same things, stated another. She treats everyone like trash now that she is in charge. Though opinions are frequently divided, it seems that any time Oprah's drama takes center stage, everyone is ready to blame her for her excessive lack of morality and consideration. However, 
What are people's opinions on this? Is Oprah really the worst nightmare of a performer of color? And with the United Voices of Justice, would her kingdom come to an end? Please use the area provided below to share your thoughts. Remember to see my other films as well.